Good evening, good morning athletes. Uh, welcome to workout number six for our ab challenge in our month of May. Today we're going to do um, between two and four rounds. Um, it's gonna depend on the level of your ab fitness and where you want to take it today. Um, so anywhere between these two and four rounds, keep an eye on the clock between 10 to 15 minutes today. We're going to have quite a few exercises. I will explain them now and then I will show you the movement standards and um, what you can expect and how to scale. We start with 45 seconds of a low plank to a high plank, going from our, shoulder, uh, our elbows to our full extension on the elbows up there. We're going to follow that with some knees up burpees. The knees up burpees are going to get our heart rates up for the rest of the set. So, looking at them to be a really integral part of breath work and um, getting those heart rates up. Then, we go for 25 on each side. We're going to do a plank up and down, so each rep is one. We're going to do 25 on one side, then switch to the other side and do 25. Followed by 25 explosive push-ups. Again, not specifically focused on the abs, but we need to engage our core during the push-up as well. So we'll look at how to do that in this one. Followed by some mountain climbers, where we go for the opposite side, so left knee to right arm, right knee to left arm. Then the 45 seconds of seated leg flutters. We've seen some flutters in the previous workouts. We're going to look at them when a seated position today. And we've got to finish off our set a maximum seconds of our boat hold or a dead bug hold. We'll look at that in a second as well. Athletes, in between, we're going to rest between 60 and 90 seconds, making sure that we recover just a little bit before going back up and starting again. Okay, let's get started with the low plank to high plank. We're going to start with a position on the low plank, which is our elbows down on the floor. And for 45 seconds, we're going to push up into a high plank and then come back down into a low plank. You can alternate which uh, arms you extend first. So right side down, then left side, left side up, right side. Left side down, then right, then right up and left up. Okay, we're gonna keep an eye on the clock and do 45 seconds of these planks. Then we're going to get to a knees up burpee, which is going to be a standard burpee with my chest to the floor, except I'm going to add in a little jump and tuck my knees up at the end of the burpee. Spicy stuff, but it's a great movement to add on to a burpee. Burpee, chest to the floor, snap up of the hips, then I'm going to jump, tuck in my legs, and follow with the next burpee and jump. Okay, after that, take a couple of seconds to recover and we're going to go for a plank up and down. Looks like this side planking can be with a straight arm or down on the elbow, straight legs on the side. We're going to lift up out of that position and then we're going to touch our hips down to the floor and back up. So on the side plank we're going to do 25 on this side, I'm going to turn myself around and do 25 on the other. Explosive push-ups athletes, we're going to do 25 explosive push-ups. Standards of the normal push-up are chest touches the floor and elbows extend. Today we're going to try to get some air which looks like this when I do a push-up chest touches the floor and I'm going to push up to get some air in between my hands. Now, not everyone's going to be able to do these, not a problem. I actually suggest we scale with an explosive push up from the knees and our feet are against the wall. That way we still get the feeling of the pushing up explosively, activating our core in the push up, but finding that stimulus of the explosive part of the push up. So it's not just normal push ups. I suggest we do explosive push-ups if we need to scale this way. Knees are touching the floor, feet are touching the wall. I'm going to push down chest touches and get some air time on those arms. 25 explosive push-ups. Followed by some mountain climbers, plank position, left, uh, right knee to my left elbow, left to the right. 45 seconds, keeping it moving. Pretty spicy so far. Let's finish this set off with some seated leg flutters, seated position. 
Earlier this week, we saw an L-sit, similar position where we're gonna have the hands just in front of the hips, and we can scale by moving our shoulders back or forward. Seating a little bit further back is a little bit easier. As we move forward, it becomes a little harder. But basically, hands in front, feet lift off the ground, tighten your core, tighten your quads, and keep those toes pointed on the flutter kicks. We finish our set with a maximum second in the boat hold position, shoulders are lifted from the floor, and I'm gonna to try to count as long as I can hold this static position. All right, athletes, the way it works. Work yourself, work your way through the set. All right, you will also find the, uh, the, the, the exercises written on sugar watts, so you'll probably have to read through what you're going to have. And when you finish that maximum second